America's comeback starts right now. As we know, President Trump is running again. Some of his former allies are with him. Some might run against him. One of his most loyal lieutenants has been John McEntee. He was a body man, spending about as much time with him as anybody in the administration. And then he ran White House personnel for him. John, who is a SoCal native, is out with a new dating app for conservatives called The Right Stuff, where swiping right has a whole new meeting. John McEntee <laughs> is here with us in the studio. Welcome to The Issue is for the first time. Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. We will talk more about the dating app in a moment because I'm fascinated by that. <laughs> but let's start with some of the news. Trump is running again. Are, are you with him? I'm 100% with him. I've been with him from day one. Uh, we're all excited about it. What do you make of the way that it's going so far? I think uh, we're seeing a lot of parallels to 2016 with sort of the establishment and a lot of the pundit class not backing him. Right. Um, so I think we'll see a lot of the same challenges, but I would put my money on him. So you know a lot about like how people get in front of him because you were around him. And you, you know the recent controversy. He goes to has a meal with Kanye West and Nick Fuentes, uh, who have both been very anti-Semitic recently. How does that happen, and what do you make of that meeting? So one of the greatest things about Donald Trump is he'll meet with anyone, he'll talk to anyone. I think that's why he was so good in foreign policy. He'll sit down with anyone. He went to Korea to see Kim Jong-un. He's obviously been, been in the celebrity world for a long time. Kanye West is a massive celebrity, so if he says, I want to have dinner with you, of course he would. This was before the most recent stuff. Um, so I don't find that out of the ordinary at all. Think it's problematic, though. I don't think it's problematic. No, I think you know he can have dinner with whoever he wants. And uh, if you have dinner with someone, you're not exactly endorsing their life philosophy. You're just having dinner. And I think a lot of the controversial stuff that's come out probably wasn't addressed at that dinner. So. Yeah. What do you what? Because there are a lot of misconceptions I think about him from a lot of people who haven't met him. What's he actually like to to work for? He's a great boss. He's obviously a lot of fun. Um, but he's also been dominant in so many different areas that he has this vast knowledge of real estate business, you know, the celebrity world, television, politics. So he's just fun to be around. You can just learn so much being, uh, being with him. You obviously were in charge of personnel. We know some of the high profile people that worked for him, chiefs of staff, secretaries of state, secretaries of defense, left with not as glowing reviews as you. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I think some people have an incentive to do that. They're trying to sell a book. And I think um, when people weren't up to the task, they wanted to say it was because of this or that when it was really, uh, they just had to look in the mirror and they weren't up to it. So I think, uh, I think anybody that doesn't have an incentive to lie isn't doing a book deal. If you ask them, if they work closely with them, They'll have only good things to say. All right, let's talk about what you're doing now, which is The Right Stuff, this dating app. What's the story behind it? How does it work? It's a dating app for conservatives. If you're a single conservative in Los Angeles, New York, D.C., anywhere, it's, it's tough. Um, the organic ways don't really work as well anymore. And, you know, we live in a digital world. Our lives are, are lived through dating apps, social media, mobile apps. Um, but the current platforms don't serve conservatives well. So we're putting all conservatives in one place and making it a lot easier to find each other. Because this idea that on some of these other apps, people will say, if you're a Trump supporter, you're an automatic swipe left sort right. of thing. So on your app, everybody uh, is in that space. You've been doing it for a little while now, about a month or so. How's, yeah, it, how's it going? We've been live for six weeks. Yeah. It's going great, steady growth. Have you heard from Trump about this concept? I told him the idea about a year and a half ago. He loved it. He loved the name. Uh, I told him just what I was up to, what I was working on. I haven't spoken to him recently about it, but uh, he liked the idea. And are you starting to see people match up? We're starting to see people match up. We have people flying all over the country to meet each other. We started with a lot of conservative influencers that are already traveling through the country. And uh, yeah, it's just a, an easier way for them to all meet. I know one thing that may be a draw for some people is you're on the app too, right? I am on looking, the app. Looking for love potentially? I'm potentially looking for love, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm 32, that? you know, so I'm just, uh, I'm mostly just testing the app. I want to get people's feedback, um, but I'm using it and uh, it's going great. All right, well, one of the things we do on this show anyways with our guests is, is a game called Personal Issues, where okay. we put 30 seconds on the clock, get to know your favorites. Uh, now, it makes even more sense now to do this with you as a potential, you know, dating suitor. So here we go. Uh, favorite, uh, what is your all-time favorite TV show? 
All-time favorite. Well, my current favorite TV show is Tucker Carlson Tonight. <laughs> uh, All-time would be tough. Um, All right, we'll keep moving. Okay. What's your favorite movie? Meet Joe Black. Uh, favorite food? Uh, cheeseburger. Uh, best spot for a first date? Uh, movie, so you don't have to talk. <laughs> what is your favorite sport to play? Uh, football. And um, who's your role model? My role model would be my dad. Okay, and what's he, what's he like? He's great. Small business owner. He's been working his whole life. Uh, so you say football. Some people may or may not know this. You played football at UConn, and, and you were also known for this extraordinary ability to do <laughs> trick shots. And we have some video of this. You put out this video, and it got like 11 million hits, right, of you doing all these trick shots over the years. There's you doing that. Tell us a little bit about this skill, and, and are you still doing some of these? I'm not still doing some of these. This was a snow day. We had a lot of time on our hands. <laughs> When I was, you know, a third string quarterback, I had a lot of time to mess around and I learned how to do all this stuff. I mean, this is amazing. Uh, well, thank you so much for being here.